Tesla's early mover advantage won't keep it at the top forever, well, Toyota will see to it. Their answer to Musk's hegemony is solid-state batteries. After years of focusing on hybrids and lagging behind in all-electric adoption, Toyota has unveiled a solid-state battery prototype that promises over 1,000 kilometers of range and ultra-fast charging in under 15 minutes. With over $13 billion invested in battery innovation and a rollout strategy that begins with Lexus and expands to mass-market models by 2028, Toyota isn't just catching up, it may just as well crush Tesla's lead. Let's see how things are playing out with Toyota's late entry and rapid acceleration in EVs. Toyota is changing, and it's changing fast. For much of the 2010s, Toyota held firm in its belief that hybrid technology was the most practical path to carbon neutrality. This conviction was embodied in its flagship hybrid, the Toyota Prius, which debuted in 1997 and became one of the best-selling hybrid vehicles in the world. By 2022, Toyota had sold over 20 million hybrid vehicles globally, however the tide has now turned. There is not going to be enough room for the middle ground in the future, it's either or, and Toyota realizes it. That being said, Toyota's pivot toward full electrification is beginning to take tangible shape. In 2023, Toyota sold approximately 150,000 EVs worldwide, this was a major leap. Just a year earlier, the Japanese automaker could only manage to sell a little over 24,000 EVs, mostly through its BZ4X crossover SUV and a few other regional offerings. The nearly five-fold increase in 2023 EV sales reflects both a sharp change in Toyota's production strategy and a growing global demand for fully electric options. The increase also reflects Toyota's recognition that hybrid dominance alone will not secure its place in the future automotive market. The market is changing and so is Toyota. Part of this new approach is Toyota's decision to use Lexus, the company's luxury division, as the vanguard for its most advanced electric technologies. Lexus, which sold over 824,000 vehicles globally in 2023, is not only a symbol of high-end automotive engineering but also a strategic testing ground for Toyota's most premium innovations, the Lexus RZ450e launched in 2022, marked the brand's first dedicated battery electric vehicle. Designed on the ETNGA platform shared with the BZ4X, the RZ450e reflects Toyota's attempt to marry luxury performance with electric efficiency. Moreover, Lexus has announced plans to go fully electric by 2035, with some markets like Europe and North America transitioning even earlier. This staggered rollout allows Toyota to fine-tune its battery technologies, powertrain software, and production logistics before scaling up to mass-market Toyota-branded EVs. The company's renewed vision is encapsulated in its Beyond Zero initiative, a wide-reaching electrification campaign announced in 2021. As part of this initiative, Toyota has committed to achieving annual sales of 1.5 million electric vehicles by 2026. This target is, honestly, pretty ambitious considering that as recently as 2020, Toyota's EV output was negligible in global terms. To support this transition, the automaker has pledged roughly $13.5 billion in battery development and electrification by the year 2030. This investment covers not only new vehicle platforms, but also battery research and development, solid-state battery trials, software integration, and the construction of dedicated EV production lines. By 2030, Toyota aims to offer 30 new electric models across both the Toyota and Lexus brands and reach annual sales of 3.5 million EVs globally. Toyota's global production network is also being restructured to support its electric ambition. In the United States, Toyota announced a $1.3 billion investment in its Kentucky plant in 2024 to prepare for EV production, with the first U.S. assembled EV expected to roll off the line in 2025. Simultaneously, a battery manufacturing plant is being constructed in Liberty, North Carolina, scheduled to begin operations in 2025 and expected to produce enough batteries for 1.2 million vehicles annually. In Japan, Toyota's Motomachi plant, one of its most historic production sites, is being revamped to serve as a key EV assembly hub. The company is also exploring production capacity increases in Europe, particularly in the UK and Turkey, where existing facilities can be upgraded for EV output. Just a couple of years back, Toyota executives were publicly voicing skepticism about fully electric vehicles, citing concerns about charging infrastructure, battery sourcing, and consumer readiness. 
Former Toyota president Akio Toyota famously warned that a rapid transition to EVs could strain global electricity grids and hurt the environment if power generation remained carbon-intensive. While, you know, such concerns were not unfounded, they led to a perception that Toyota was lagging behind companies like Tesla and Hyundai in embracing the electric future. Now, however, Toyota has recalibrated its stance. The automaker is placing a strong emphasis on battery innovation, including plans to commercialize solid-state batteries by 2027. These batteries promise faster charging times, longer range and greater safety than conventional lithium-ion counterparts. If Toyota succeeds in scaling this technology, it could leapfrog many competitors in terms of performance and durability. In 2023, Toyota engineers reported achieving a prototype solid-state cell capable of a 1,000-kilometer range on a single charge with a 10-minute recharge time. Despite its late start, Toyota's electrification strategy benefits from its experience in lean manufacturing and global logistics. The company's mastery of supply chain management, quality control, and cost optimization will become, honestly, critical advantages as the EV sector matures and margins tighten. Moreover, Toyota's global dealership and service infrastructure, particularly in markets like North America, Southeast Asia, and the Middle East, gives it a logistical edge in EV rollout and maintenance support. Furthermore, Toyota's investment in solid-state battery technology represents a potential game-changer that extends beyond just passenger vehicles. The company is actively researching applications for commercial trucks buses and even hydrogen fuel cell integration. The durability and energy density promised by solid-state batteries could address key limitations in current electric commercial transport, such as long recharge times and weight constraints. Success here would allow Toyota to dominate not just the consumer EV space, but also the future of logistics and public transportation. Another critical component of Toyota's strategy is its focus on sustainability across the entire battery life cycle. The company is pioneering research into battery recycling and second life applications, aiming to create a closed loop system that minimizes environmental impact. This comprehensive view of the electric ecosystem from responsible material sourcing to end-of-life repurposing, positions Toyota as a company thinking about long-term viability not just short-term market capture. Critically, Toyota's approach also shows signs of regional adaptation. In China, the world's largest EV market, Toyota is strategically navigating the industry's rapid pivot to full electrification through key global partnerships and regional adaptations. A prime example of this new collaborative strategy is its landmark partnership there. Toyota has joined forces with BYD, China's leader in EV manufacturing and battery technology. This alliance is far more than a simple supplier agreement. It is a deep collaboration aimed at co-developing electric sedans specifically engineered to resonate with the sophisticated preferences of Chinese consumers. The first real result of this significant partnership is the Toyota BC3 which is an all-electric sedan that made its debut in the Chinese market in late 2022. The Bees C3 stands as a testament to the synergy between these two companies. While it carries Toyota's familiar design language and reputation for reliability, its core electric powertrain is distinctly BYD. Most notably, the BZ3 uses BYD's innovative blade battery, which is a cell-to-pack technology renowned for its exceptional safety standards, having passed rigorous nail penetration tests without fire or explosion, and it offers high energy density, which helps the vehicle achieve a competitive driving range. This collaboration allows Toyota to speed up its EV rollout in China by leveraging locally dominant technology, while BYD in turn gains validation and scale for its components. At the same time, Toyota is executing a deliberate and measured transition in the European market where the regulatory landscape has become a powerful catalyst for change. The European Union's increasingly strict emissions regulations, especially its fleet average CO2 standards, have pushed all automakers to quickly ramp up their electric plans. In response, Toyota is methodically expanding its lineup of zero-emission vehicles to make sure it stays compliant and keeps its strong presence in the market. The company's roadmap for Europe is aiming for battery electric vehicles to make up at least 10% of its total sales in the region by 2025. The other 90% will be a diverse mix of its well-known hybrid electric vehicles and plug-in hybrid electric vehicles. This balanced approach really highlights a core belief in Toyota's global philosophy that a multi-pathway strategy 
rather than just going all in on pure battery electric power right away, is the most practical way to achieve meaningful carbon reduction.